Hi, my name is Donovan Hayden. I am a playwright and organizer based in Toronto. I recently produced and performed in my play, X and the Spirit, inspired by my experiences during the Black Lives Matter protests in 2020. The play centered around an unassuming black man named X who encounters a mural beneath a bridge that transmits the spirit of black resistance to him in an instant. Now he must find his place in the struggle, guided by an artist MC who challenges X's understanding of the movement and the personal consequences of activism. X in the Spirit is a celebration of Toronto blackness, resistance, and community through rap, dance, graffiti, music, and spoken word. Now, you'd think as a writer, I was a good student. That wouldn't be entirely true. When I was in middle school, I was often acting out and more interested in talking than learning. One class, I was up to my usual misbehavior, distracting my friends with funny faces, when my teacher yelled at me to stop. I was used to this, and frankly, knew that I deserved it. But I didn't expect or deserve what came next. The teacher began a tirade, telling me that my behavior was not cool and that I needed to stop acting like a thug. You see, that year, a boy who had graduated from my middle school named Antoine was shot and killed. I didn't know Antoine, and besides being black and attending the same middle school, we had nothing in common. That didn't stop this teacher from warning me that if I kept up this behavior, I would end up like Antoine. In his eyes, my jokes were the beginnings of a life of crime and violence, not just the outburst of an active boy with poor impulse control. As an adult, I now recognize how awful that moment was, how it was a horrible thing to say to a child, how it disrespected Antoine's life, and that it was racist. I often wish I could transport into my seventh grade body with the knowledge and voice I have now to defend myself against that teacher. I could articulately call out his racism and take the proper steps to report his misbehavior to school administrators. But I didn't. I just accepted it. I was fortunate to have more teachers and mentors that helped me find my voice than suppress it. I had teachers that taught me how to identify injustice and speak up against it. I also had teachers that encouraged me to imagine endless possibilities of what I could become, including becoming a writer. Throughout my schooling, I found the tools to speak up, but also how to write and express myself in ways black boys are often not allowed to. Those teachers lay the foundation of my playwriting today where I am free to write about a black guy learning about activism from a spirit in a wall. That is what black youth voice means to me. It contains hardship and joy, restraint and expression, sincerity and silliness. It contains multitudes and explodes any box someone might wanna put us in. As my youth concludes, I want to empower the ones who follow me to find their own voice and use it. We'll be amazed at what they say.